Honestly, I think if I was gonna, if I was gonna be a woman, tra- transitioning to a man, right? If I was gonna do that, mm-hmm. and they were like, "What kind of penis do you want?" and you were saying you'd want, you'd want the biggest, I'd want yeah, as big, big one I could get. But how how big do you think? Now, when you say big, do you mean like fucking obnoxious? Like, look at the microphone. Do you want that big of a dick? Like, width-wise? Width-wise. I'm talking girth. I mean, I feel like I'm probably going for whatever is the maximum they can give me. What do you... I mean, th- there's got to be a, a... Like, I'm pretty sure a medical limit. Like, they probably won't give... Like, unless you have all the money in the world. Unless you're, like, you know, a superstar. Well, so this is my you understanding know? of it. Is that, like, the clit has more nerve endings, so they flip that inside out, and they just stuff that... That's, I think, medically what they do. And so it's like, it can be bigger. <laughs> Flip the clit inside out? I'm, I believe so. I, I don't think know the how, wait, from the inside when you say on flip the, the clit inside out, the clit it already is inside out. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the clit is already, no, it, it was it, inside and it's out. I'm, I'm pretty sure, based on... L- little to no knowledge i mean i don't even know where any of this is coming from i don't think i've even read something online i'm just talking i i get it i <laughs> get what you're doing i'm pretty sure the clit like the nerve endings of the clit go like way up in there and around it's like almost all of the vagina is like the same nerve endings you're saying that the clit is like that tree from the movie Avatar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, like, and so, like, imagine con- you take the roots. It's all connected. You know how they say, like, a big tree, it's even bigger underground? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's how the clit works. <laughs> so they reverse it. I don't know if that's how it works. Well, me neither. I think... That's what I heard. No, I'm not... Like, so, if this is... If the cap is the clit... Yeah. And then my... My fingers and my thumb are like, you know, this is the hood over it. Sure. And these are the lips. Mm-hmm. You get me hard. So I'm saying, oh, you want me to make it square? <laughs> square guy? Uh, if you, so the clit is already inside. So how would they take it inside out? Like, how would they flip it? That's what I, that's the only question I'm going to ask you. Because if that's your school of thought, which so, I do respect. So what I'm imagining is they take like, sort of like a fork and they. <laughs> Twist it up like spaghetti, and then they just pull. If I had to guess, that's what I'm picturing the procedure looks like. That is the best explanation <laughs> I've ever heard of sex reassignment surgery in my life. But so you're saying you're, you're going with like a medium penis. I would be like, I wouldn't showboat. You know what I mean? Because also I would think about like what are my balls going to look like too. Because I think everyone forgets about the balls. What do you... Do girls get balls or... You know, men who are. I think if you're going one, you can't just have a no way. If I if I'm doing surgery to turn turn you in to the person you want to be. So you're the you're the gender reassignment doctor. Yeah. And they come in, they say, I want a giant penis, and you're like, Okay, but I'm gonna have to give you really big balls. Big balls. balls. I'm gonna I'm gonna make everything <laughs> proportionate. Give you big long balls. Yeah, I'm gonna give you wild ass balls. And they're like, I don't I didn't want balls. I'm like, they're non functional. It's like no. What are you I mean, using to make the balls? Anything. <laughs> Anything. Anything. Just two large marbles. I would just, honestly, I would just get Christmas balls <laughs> and hang them on there. The ones that have the recess, like, little tree in it. That would look <laughs> fucking sick. I'd be like, yeah. Uh, we ran out of material. We didn't really know what we were doing. Do you know how hard it is to flip your clit inside out with this fork? It's impossible. <laughs> I've been working all day. I've been slaving over this fake penis. I can't get it right. I think, and now these balls you didn't want. And then these balls, you didn't even want them? <laughs> But I got they a kid have in here to be working here. his ass <laughs> off of these balls. And you didn't even want the balls. There's got to be a room full of discarded balls that somebody didn't want. You know what I mean? Well, but that's the thing. It's it's not like they're using real... It's, they're not grafting a, a real penis onto a person. So are you saying that they're going to go find testicles that have been removed? Probably from a dog. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, that's going to be the, <laughs> that would the be largest awesome. abundance of extra testicles. That would that's be all. Awesome. Well, that's the whole thing. Dog is like, dude, just dog balls is like spotted dog balls on your fucking. <laughs> you have this Franken genitalia, <laughs> just like weird ass fucking long dog balls that look like two fucking overripened avocados just hanging down. If I had to get it a different animal's balls, though, I think I'd go with a rat. Have you ever seen a rat's balls? 
No. Rats have big balls. But they're on the but they're proportionate to a rat. No, no, no. They're no disproportionate way. to a rat. Are they disproportionate to a human? There's no way no, they're the size I, of a human's they're balls. About the size of a human's No like a fucking small, way. Rats rats have balls like a like a small child. <laughs> But that's not a And if you try to hold them, you just hold a handful <laughs> of balls with like little feet around it and that nasty I don't, tail. I don't think but that's again, like who would who would be an adult person being like, I need gender reassignment surgery. Can you give me a child size balls? I don't think anybody is I want going, a big dick. I want a big dick. I want a small child's balls. Chi- well, those are some big ass balls. That's All what right. I'm saying. Like if I if yeah, I'm but getting those balls, are that is very childlike. That is very, that is straight up childish balls, man. Well, who else's balls? Because you can't get like a horse's balls. No, no. That's was, too much balls. First off, I don't think I've ever seen, I'm not saying I, that horses don't have balls. All right, yeah, that's a fucking mad sack. But that. It's right, a nice little handful. Like if you're going to, if yeah, you get them. Okay, hold on. Nice little handful. Look at the person's hand holding that ball, holding a rat. That, if you see right there, I think that's the ring finger or the pinky right above the ball sack. True. Look at the width of that ball sack. That's not good. That's not big. <laughs> that isn't enough to satisfy anybody. <laughs> if someone saw that, they wouldn't want to suck your balls. They'd be like, that's a lie. I'm going to choke on those balls, <laughs> literally. Like, it's going to fall out my throat, and then you're going to have to pour him the Heimlich. I wonder, I feel like I would be, you know... I would be worried to suck <laughs> fake balls. You know, if I'm putting myself in the situation of someone that's sucking them anyway, those you'd be afraid of them coming off. I'd be afraid of ripping them off. But if they're so, what if they're like grafted to you? You know what I mean? If they're sewn to you, I'm not that worried. It's like a patch. You'd have to fucking pull hard. You can rip a patch, sure. You could get your balls sucked off. In yeah, general. but it's like so the dick isn't sewn onto you. It's, you know, it's still the clit inside out. So it's still I, part, <laughs> right? I don't I don't know. So I'm not worried about that. I don't that know if detaching. that's how it works. I don't think they just. Inf- what do you think they do? And inf- like they put a hole in your clit and then fill it with water? <laughs> Is it like like one of those long clown balloons? Yeah, they get, <laughs> like they they get a party <laughs> party. They just turn it into a poodle or something. I don't think that's what they do. They I don't, yeah. it so it has a head. It's like what did you want there? It's like I wanted a machine gun <laughs> for my penis. I don't think that's. I mean, again. I'm not a doctor, full disclosure. I've right. never performed gender reassignment surgery on anyone. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Right. I'm saying that Clear right that. now. On this podcast, I've never performed surgery on anyone. To say I wouldn't, I, that's another story. I would if someone was ballsy enough to let me do it. <laughs> See what I'm saying there? If someone was child-sized ballsy enough <laughs> to let me perform surgery on them, I would fucking do it. But I don't know if I would be... You know, if someone came in or like, yo, give me the biggest fucking hog you got. Right. I'd be like, no. You'd say you're going to need to. I'd be like, look, you need to say eight inches max. Here's here's the break. You need to pump it. What what is your max? What's your limit? I I would never make a dick bigger than mine. That's that's the max. That's like. You have a pretty healthy hog. though. I have. a Yeah, it's all right. So, I mean, that's that's unfair because if I was a doctor, I wouldn't make one bigger than mine either. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want... I, yeah. The last thing I need is, like... Too much competition. Yeah. No right. fucking way. If I got other people coming up to the plate to smack a meat bat, I'm not I, fucking... I think I'd I'm be not, pretty upset if you gave girls your size dick. I'd be like, come on, man. That would be... See, but I Give would, I would make dick. it a shade smaller. <laughs> I would make it... I, Skinnier, at I least. Would, I, would, I, would, I would make it tone <laughs> and slender, but I would never... I would never give them my penis. I don't think my penis is the standard, because I don't even know what the standard is. You I know? haven't seen enough dicks. I haven't seen enough. Have you ever seen another person's? So, I, the standard that they cho- <laughs> that they choose is a maximum of five point five inches. Well, they go it's a max five, max, but that's a certain way that they do it, the recommended way. But if you choose another where they actually take skin from like the inside of your leg and graft it out like further, whoa, it can go up to eight and a half. Dude, could you imagine having a scar on your inner thigh in the shape of a pe- <laughs> in the shape of a dick? Yeah, I imagine it all like the there time. it is. I'm just waiting for them to figure out how to do that for guys. What to make you? They have penis lengthening. Surgery. I don't think they do. I don't they, think that yeah, they, they can do. give me an eight inch. Penis. I'm telling you right now, if we go down Ecuador way, we can fucking get <laughs> I you. I don't know what they're gonna. We do can to get it. you an eight inch real quick. I heard. I have heard that they'll do lip injections in the dick now. What? Yeah, to like make it collagen. Thicker. Yeah, to beef it up. Now, 
right there. <laughs> right there. There's, I guarantee if we went somewhere and we were like, hey, my friend here is having some wiener, you know, self, you know, doubt. He's right. having some probably some wiener dysmorphia. Can yeah. you can you please beef it up? Can you can dysmorphia? <laughs> He's having serious dysmorphia right now. Can you please make his penis eight inches long? Right. I guarantee there's one doctor who would be like, "You goddamn right, I will." Yeah, but they're gonna do like saline injections, like those guys who get like oh stupid that, that, and the, then the it's gonna get poisoned and die. How, well, what I'm saying is, if your penis, so what I'm saying is when your dick is hard all you need all you need is it to be hard to go in you know what i'm saying yeah so like if it was just like you know a faux oh so you're just saying girth, wrap shit around it you could yeah i mean yeah. you could you could fucking just beef it up well but that's the same reason that i haven't got lip injections in my dick yet <laughs> I'm not gonna feel it. Well, that's the whole thing. Is like then I'm, I'm doing it for what her pleasure. Yeah, dude. It's, uh, sex is psychological, man. Like there have been times where like it feels good to me, but if it doesn't feel good to them, then I'm out. You know what I mean? I guess in theory. I mean, if I if no one's having a good time, I'm not having a good time. You know I what mean, I'm saying? If I'm having a good time, yes, you're. Yeah, I don't. You're, really a, give a, you're fuck a what her you're problem a selfish, is. You're a selfish lover. It's, look, I'm not trying to get a big dick so I could please a woman. I'm trying to get a big dick so I could hurt a woman. <laughs> I want I want to leave an Dude, impression. I want to Yeah, you a literal impression on your fucking service. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just a fucking fucking calm fucking hole from where you crush their goddamn <laughs> pussy. God damn it. This is the end podcast. I'm Ryan Shanner. I with the one and only the handsomest boy I've ever seen in my life. Miguel Silva. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to be here. Thank you for Thanks talking for about me. genitals as well. We were talking about Earlier, when the one of the first times we were hanging out about getting a joint Tinder, oh, where yeah. I don't, I still think about it. Yeah, I still think about getting a joint Tinder. It, it would be so much fun. I think, but the funny thing is, when I was talking about it, I saw that women can do it, right? But men, when they try and do it, it kind of gets shut down because they're like, "What mm -hmm. is this? Classic These guys story. are trying to hurt women with their penises." Right. Much like you just admitted. Well, uh, th literally, three that's the problem. Is like that's really I wouldn't be involved in that part. I think what we Wait, would be you figuring you're alley ooping my penis into people. I exactly is that what this I'm is? I'm playing point guard. So basically, what you're saying is you're the face man. I'm the base man, and you fucking just get chicks revved up with your beautiful handsomeness. What I'm saying is we'd finally put an end to like we would figure out what matters more between height and dick length. Oh my god! Now that <laughs> is fun. <laughs> You hear that? <laughs> We're trying to settle a score. An age-old question. Once and for all. Once and for all. That would be actually... Two handsome we, guys, We could easily get funding for that. I, I don't know why we haven't been funded by the scientific community for this. Yeah, we should start going to VCs. Seriously? Why? Gentlemen, I bring to you a proposal. <laughs> Gentlemen, we've all looked around this room and wondered, why are we being denied pussy? Is it because of our height? Right. Are they immediately looking at us and assuming no dick size whatsoever? Yeah, I've never seen a girl on a dating app be like, you know, six and over only. You haven't seen that? Yeah, you know, I'm talking inches. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I would actually appreciate that. If a chick was like, I need this size of a dick to get. Yeah. To well, get I did I actually get that one time. You I got that on, one time? I, I went on like this hookup, like uh, kink dating app, and a girl Whoa. told me that like anything under like seven and a half was a waste of her time. And I was like, well, this has been a wow. really tough conversation for me, my mental state. You know what? I say the same thing about pussies. I need <laughs> I need an eight, eight inch wide <laughs> gaping fucking hole. I need dude. you to do the measurements and tell me yeah. exactly how far your cervix is I from need the this front. Boy, <laughs> you're talking about my girth. I need something that I can fit in. I need to fucking drive a goddamn Winnebago <laughs> through that fucking hole, baby. I need something fucking wild. I need you to cough and your fucking fallopian tube to fly out of there. I need something so loose that we don't even have to think about it. Never has to worry. There's no chance of a queef. No chance of a queef. It's I want just it to like, be so deep you know what? that it just echoes inside. It's like inside. blood on a jug. <laughs> <laughs> so when, I, when I go down on you, I can start my own jug band with your pussy. I can bang on your belly. Boom, boom, boom. Be fucking sick. 
That's what I need. You right. never hear anybody. You never because everyone wants tight. Right. Tight's right. I get it. Mm -hmm. I've been I've been with women whose pussy has been too tight. I actually have too. That's crazy. I, I didn't that think that was possible for me. It actually is unnerving. Yeah. You didn't think that was possible for you? I thought, you know, if I'm doing well, that's good enough. But yeah, there are some times that I've been like, I'm not even enjoying this. What's happening? Yeah, dude, it's it's pretty pretty wild. And I do feel bad because those chicks that probably run into problems before. You yeah. know, like, you know, you don't want to make Well, that's anybody, why they're with me now. You don't you don't want to make anyone feel bad. So that's the whole thing of the joint tinder. It's like if my dick won't fit. Right, then send them I've my way. I've got a guy over here who will accommodate you. If that's, it doesn't, that's the bio. If it doesn't work out, if you weren't feeling this guy, this guy over here yeah. will make you feel. And if it's still too much, go see a doctor. Yeah, then there's then, something wrong. Then we'll you write got... you a referral to get your pussy widened. <laughs> yeah, we'll send you to Ecuador to get a fucking <laughs> goddamn drill in that sliz. Open that motherfucker up. That's what, dude. I've seen some big pussies. Oh yeah. What's the biggest pussy you've ever seen in your life? I you mean, remember? I've, I feel like seeing it is believable. Well, are you, you're talking in real life. In real life. Not, not on the internet. Everyone's seen big pussies on the internet. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of a, a better answer than one of my ex-girlfriends, but I had one oh, no. ex-girlfriend who it, it kind of sometimes when I was in there, it felt like there's extra room. Oh, and I was like, I got to do more. I got to get angles going, you know, man. Now, when her pussy was that big and you were using the digis. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. Many, how many did you, could you get in there? Have you ever fisted anybody? I actually haven't. No, it's pretty wild. Yeah. It's wild I don't know thing. that I would enjoy that. It's not. You know what? It's not that you enjoy it. It's more like, you know, you're doing it because you're you feel like a trailblazer. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You do one, you're like, everyone's been here. Two, you're like, all right, I'm, you know, yeah, where yeah. I need to be. Three, you're like, whoa. And then you're like, how far can I push this? Right. You know, you're like you're testing yourself. Right. She's still not complaining. She's still not. Com That's the thing. If you get three fingers in there and they're not complaining, and then you can put a fourth in there and they still don't say anything, you might as well gleam the cube, dude. <laughs> you, might, <laughs> you need to get, you need to fucking try and see if you can fucking get it get all the, the way in there. And if you can get the thumb in there and you then you see if you can get past this guy, well then you're already in. You've you've already you've already you've cracked the code. You've cracked it. You've cracked her fucking <laughs> pubic bone is what you've done. And what I found is all of the women I've fisted which is a great t-shirt. <laughs> all the women I fisted. <laughs> Just that. Uh all the women I fisted or the worst band yeah, all the women are fisted. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, all the women. You know them, you love them. All the women I fisted. You hear it. Queef beef <laughs> with their goddamn. That's the fucking single. But all the women that I've gotten past my knucks, mm -hmm. I've found that they've all said that that's the first time they've ever been fisted. Interesting. Which I don't believe. Right. I feel like that might be a that thing that you have to say. Yeah, but that's like, but it's the biggest lie. Like, I wouldn't believe that. Even if they said, like, that's the first time I've ever, like, I don't think anytime the first time a woman, like, right, apparently, squirting, squirting, always I, lie. Don't, I don't believe yeah. that. I don't believe that at all. I don't buy that. Right. And that's apparently happened. They're like, that's the first time I've ever done yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking, I don't believe I, you. I know. I'm yeah, not. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Half the time I'm down there. I'm just trying to get by. Do you not even masturbate? Yeah. Are you, Dude, what are you just lying yeah. to me? That's the thing, too, is like when chicks, they're like, this is the first time I ever squirt. I'm like, yeah, you must have some terrible masturbation fucking habits. Right. Like, you know, like that's like saying. You don't know yourself at that's all. That's like saying a woman making me come. Like, this is the first time I've ever done that. Yeah. That's the first <laughs> That's the first time I've ever shot a load. That's crazy how that fucking happens. Oh, that's the worst. That's the first time I've ever come from a Ooh, girl. Whoa. <laughs> Usually this washcloth gets me where I need to be. I've never come from a woman. I've never met a woman has never met that also. I know dudes who have have also said that. They don't come when they fuck chicks. Which is also That's tough. Is a fucking pretty wild thing to to hear from one of your boys. Yeah. When they're like, Yeah, dude, I can't come with chicks. It's like then Well, I you know? don't don't, you know what? You know what I think. Don't come to me for help with that. When people brother. are like, "I don't come from chicks," 
but they're like, yeah, I won't have sex with like people like, oh, having sex with a dude is against God. Not coming from a chick is against God, dude. Not coming in general is <laughs> is very ungodly. Right. If no holes can make you blow, mm-hmm. you're against God. Then you're, you're unholy. The, you're unholy, dude. Uh-huh. Unholy, <laughs> dude. You are the devil. And you need to be excommunicated from this world. If no one, if no holes can make you blow, you've got, you got to figure it yeah, out. You're the antichrist. Yeah, you're the antichrist. If you're having sex with just inanimate objects, I think you should find, that's where you should go to church. Yeah. I don't think anybody. You should go to confession. You need to go to, like, I can only come. And talk by, to the priest and see what he could do about that Then for he'll you. fucking, dude, <laughs> that priest will suck you dry, dude. <laughs> The glory hole in the fucking <laughs> confessional booth, which again, I don't know why that hasn't happened. I guarantee there's glory hole confessional booths somewhere. Yeah. I, I mean, don't. You have to assume. How could it not? It's kind of like. That's got to be. It's right there. It's right. It's, it's. I mean, they slide the thing. There's got to be a thing at the bottom. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like in a prison cell when like, they have the thing for the. Yeah. And it just like slides over and you put your balls through. That would probably throw a priest for a loop if they're like, hey, man, I didn't know that you, you guys You were. have to say 10 Hail Marys and also. <laughs> <laughs> Just a priest slowly sliding. <laughs> and and Just also, like, my also, child. Also, also, beat my rosary. <laughs> Please get all the beads in your mouth right now. Mm-hmm. I don't think I don't think I could. Uh, I don't Suck th- off a priest? I don't think I could do that. <laughs> Well, I don't think I could. I don't think I could blow a clergyman. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a tough one. I don't, dude. I don't I, think I, I could. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I could. I don't think I could. I don't think. Yeah, I could. It's, it's easy to talk about, but when you got to put pen yeah. to paper, when you got to, you know, everyone talks to talk. But can you suck the cock? <laughs> can <laughs> you? Can you get out there? Can you fucking really perform when a, a priest is like looking at you in the eye? That's why. Well, I, technically, he's not right. What do you mean? Well, he's still you still oh, got the, the rest of the cover, there, but he yeah. can look down. He can they can still kind of see your face. It's not like a fucking opaque thing. Oh, I can, to be honest, I've never been inside a confessional booth. I have I never either, but of everything I've seen in movies, it's all movies. That's where I right. get all my ideas from the church. Yeah, is every movie. It's like a screen, so you can see like a figure, but you can't really make out details of a face. Now, can all you right, see? So that's can you, hot. Can you see eyes? No, you just kind of see like the silhouette. What? Just, <laughs> now you're turning me on. Just, just now you get me hard. Just now a really you get me sexy going. figure. Actually, like, you know what? Maybe I could. Maybe I could <laughs> suck that guy off. It's like in those movies where you see a woman go behind one of those like tri tri panel things, and they're like taking off the clothing. Mm-hmm. But it's a priest. That's good stuff. There's actually a subreddit for that. It. I don't remember. It's something, it's like just the syllables, but it's like when light passes through and you can see the silhouette. Yeah. It's like R, you know, W, L, P, whatever it is. <laughs> it, I, this is a real thing. I'm not saying it's not a real thing. So wait, that's only dudes get off to that? Like that's their whole beat thing? I, Yeah, I mean, I guess. It, it just the it's an entire subreddit where it's just like pictures and videos of, of like a of silhouette of a naked girl. So where that you can means kinda see that's like, exactly what I said. Yeah, yeah. Then it's just dudes going out of their way to beat off to the shape of a woman. Yeah, which is very sensual. I I would say that's pretty romantic. Yeah, that's not you're not just looking at fucking a butthole. You're like right. appreciating the figure well yeah i think i think when people get into like those niche subreddits it's like all right i'm tired of looking at porn now you got to do something to like give me that extra layer of i guess man yeah i guess i'm I'm just speculating here i'm just saying like i i'm saying like if someone was like i can't look at porn anymore i'd be like how much porn are you look i look at a fair amount of porn i don't think i could ever be like eh Reach my limit. I, I need, I need, I need shadows now. <laughs> <laughs> I've reached my limit. I need fucking this on the wall. You got to get me. Fuck. You want to get me rigid again? I got to fucking, I got to see just a shape. I got to fucking see it. I don't think I could do that. Well, I'm pretty sure that's how ISM started. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we want to talk about something else. I've been pissing blood. Have I told you about that? No. 
I've been pissing blood. Why have you been pissing blood? I don't know yet. I've been going and seeing doctors about it. And they, and they still haven't out. figured it out? They've ruled out STDs a couple of times, so beat the charges on that. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. So So no, no, none of the Rias? Unfortunately. That's what's uh, up. It's probably worse. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like it could be worse. Kind of, kind of wish it was. Yeah, chlamydia. you wish it was now. chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis. Right. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Wait, is there like you know what might be a thing? You might have like, and again, I'm just speculating because right. I'm not a doctor. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> it might be there might be a small hole in a capillary in your urethra. Now, when you pee, when you pee, are you like ever excited? Like before you pee. Like, say you got, so you went golfing the other day. Right. Now, how well did you do? Always garbage. I'm very bad at golf. But did you have a good time? Yeah. Okay. Did you pee after golf? Uh, and multiple times throughout. Did you pee blood? I don't know. So this what? is the thing. It doesn't look like blood to me. It just looks like dark piss. What I'm going to tell you right now is if I peed blood one time, I'm making sure if I'm peeing blood every time. What do you mean you don't know? I, it has never looked like blood. It's, so it's wait, not you're just red. saying it's just dark pee? Yeah, apparently. I went to the, Are you sure you're not okay, just so dehydrated? I, that's exactly what I thought for kind of months. But there's like a lot of pain in my kidney. Okay, you and just it's have like, kidney problems then, man. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. But I So I went to urgent care. I went to urgent care and they're like, okay, it's probably an STD, right? And I was like, yeah, I guess probably that is what every doctor assumes. It's like, you know. Yeah, they always Kind of the, the natural... Worst. And they had me do a piss test. She comes back. She's like, all right, so there's no sign of infection. Sick. But. But. There's a lot of blood. That would. Fu now, how. A lot of blood is what she a said. A lot of blood. Yeah. How hard did your balls go into your body? I was. I would. Well, okay. Die. But so I assumed it was a kidney stone. My older brother, my little sister have both had kidney stones multiple times. My oh, dad has had man, kidney you stones. You got hereditary stones. That was the assumption. So I was like, yeah, I, you know, it's probably kidney stones. And she's like, yeah, you need to go to the emergency room right now. And I was like, right now? And she's like, do you want us to call you an ambulance? First off, if anybody comes out and says you have a lot of blood <laughs> in your pee, and they're like, you need to go right now, I'd be like, you're great. I did. You were like, oh, come on, well, man. Because the thing is, it, right now? It had been going on for a, a while. Lot? And if it's a kidney stone, they don't really do anything for it. They yeah, give you, you some painkillers. There's a thing that I guess like widens your urethra so it's easier to piss out. But what is the thing? What? Wait, the, is it a pill that widens yeah, your... Yeah, like a, some sort of medication. Yeah, apparently widens your your urethra. Can anybody get that? I think you have to go to the emergency <laughs> room to get it. <laughs> Can I get that urethral widening Because she was pill? saying, she's like, if you had had kidney stones before, uh -huh. we could just give it to you. Yeah. But since you haven't had them, you have to go get it. You, you have, have to, to go see if you actually... scan yeah. and like, make sure that you actually have kidney stones because if it's not that, then it's something much worse. Sure. So I went to the emergency room. And they did the piss test again. It came back. This time, it said moderate in, like, like big red letters with an exclamation mark. It uh, said, like... Well, that's better than severe. Yeah. You know what? But it's also got to be worse than something else. Like, I don't know what the scale is, but moderate uh, yeah, what is like... What is below moderate? Trace? Trace? Oh. Maybe. That sounds real. That sounds like... That, so that sounds very accurate. Trace amounts, yeah. moderate, severe. Maybe. I, I don't know. So you have moderate... I don't know what the scale is. I wish they would have told me when they gave me yeah, the that's thing fun. and said I have I wish it was just like, you know, the thing ear. where it's like the happy face, the frowny face thing, right. just with your penis. Give, that me, would be give me a number scale. Yeah. Like, it's between one and five. Where am I? Yeah. So you don't know. You've been pissing blood. Apparently, it's yeah, a lot of blood. Apparently, for a while. It's probably. a lot. What's a... Now, what's a... Did they... Could they tell you how long you've been doing it? Uh, No, I just like... How long do you think you've been peeing blood? Well, the thing is, my kidney has been hurting for, like, almost a year. I've been complaining about this since, like, maybe August last year. I've been okay. telling people, like, my kidney Now, did you, kind of like, were you in an accident? Did you fall? No, I'm starting to, uh, I've come up to, <laughs> with the conclusion that I'm just going to start telling people it was because of the vaccine. And then maybe the doctors there will you go. be more concerned about healing. That's Can we do misinformation? Or are you going to yeah, get in trouble? I'm, no, I'm fine with that. <laughs> All right. So. I don't know if you heard us earlier talking about how you flip clits inside out. <laughs> I think that that's medically accurate. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. 
<laughs> we were literally talking about performing sex reassignment surgery with no information on it. Look, my so, my conspiracy is that as long as they're not sure what it is and they can't figure it, it out, it's, they're be, hiding from me the fact that it, it was because of the vaccine. It might have been COVID vaccine. Yeah. 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 So now your kidney is fucked up because you got the fucking shot. Yeah. You got the Fauci ouchie. Now you have the fucking flaccid ouchie. And you well, don't know. It, I, I still get boners. It yeah. just is more the pissing is this. Now when you wait, there. do you come blood? I I don't know. What do you mean you so. don't know? That would be the first thing I would look for. Well, I don't, I I haven't like, seen yeah. blood in my cum, but I didn't see blood in my urine. What I'm saying is your cum a different color now. Is it like a darker no, shade? No, I wouldn't say that cum. it looks like anything weird. So I don't <laughs> think. <laughs> But honestly, yo, the piss looked like kind of maybe cloudy, but like yeah, cloudy, it, pee. regular yellow for the most part. Regular y yellow, y regular to dark yellow, like moderate, Mod moderate, <laughs> moderate yellow. Yeah. Wait. So no matter how much water I drink, so that was kind of that, okay. That's and first sign. Every time I have to piss, it's an emergency, and it's kind of been this way for a while. So maybe like, you have, and I'm just gonna go on my medical opinion yeah. here. I think maybe you have. A maybe a, a borderline hernia that maybe is now causing you to have uh, frequent bladder issues as well, which is being brought on by your inability to process water through your kidneys to clean things out. You may have a small hole or a problem in your urethra, which is also causing a stone to build in your urethra as well. Also, the vaccine has caused you... Well, so they, they did the CT scan. I don't have stones. So then it's definitely the vaccine. I until mean, until somebody finds something. So wait, you don't have stones. So, you, you're peeing blood. Mm -hmm. Your cum is a regular color. Yeah. <laughs> and you you have pain in your kidney. Yeah, it feels like, and it's pretty much every day, like kind of in the evening usually, but it feels like, did your friends, do you ever like do kidney punches with your friends in yeah. high school? Yeah. Okay, cool. Because I keep saying that to people and they're like, what? No. Dude, <laughs> people are dumb, dude. People, but yeah, it feels like someone's punching me in the kidney all the time. Okay. I, at first, I thought it was my balls, and I was, like, scared about that, but it feels higher. Like, here's a, here's it, a, you know, it's a similar feeling. Yeah, but what I'm going to say is, so you have kidney punch pain, mm -hmm. you're peeing blood, mm -hmm. comes a regular color. Right. You are cleared for moderate to severe stones. You don't even have trace amount of stones. Right. You have no gonorrhea, no syphilis, no, 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 no anything. Right. So far, no anything. I mean, all the blood tests are healthy. All of the piss tests are healthy except for the blood. They're really not sure. So now, uh, on July 7th, I'm scheduled to get a camera shoved up my dick. Awesome. Yeah. Now, how... So, uh, frequently described as the most painful medical procedure possible. Because you have to be awake for it for some reason, and you have to be able to feel it at least a little bit. So they put lidocaine on your dick. Because they put the catheter up and then they <laughs> shove a, a scope how, how long into is your that? bladder. But how, then what you have to they it has to fill, go all the way through your wiener. And then it has like a tube on it that they fill your bladder with like saline or something to uh -huh. stretch it out. And then you have to be able to feel the pressure in your bladder of how bad you need to piss. Yeah, for some reason for it to work. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a crock shit. It, I that does, sounds dude. like a crock it shit. Sounds, it sounds I think like you're, really are you sure, what's your sticks. fucking doctor's last name? Mengele? What the <laughs> fuck? Who are you seeing here? Apparently this is a normal procedure that's like that's like if I have a hole or yeah. if I passed a kidney stone that I didn't realize I passed and it caused damage on the way out and that's why there's blood or if uh, I have tumors or if there's just something going on that they can't see with the scan. Sure. Because they did a, a CAT scan uh -huh. outside, and so now they have to look what's going on. And apparently, it could also be my prostate, and for some reason, they'll be able to see it with that camera. Dude, you should just have sex reassignment surgery. <laughs> <laughs> you should just have everything ripped off of your body. <laughs> you need to get a new dick, new balls, just let it all fucking go. Yeah. Because that is fucking wild. I think yeah. we got to we gotta go to fucking goddamn voicemail. Uh, okay. God damn it, dude. And if I was a doctor, I'd be fucking with you a little bit when you go to get that scope up your penis. I would bring out a, like a wild drill or something like that. I'd be like, we got to. You'd be looking in there and be uh, like, whoa, disgusting. Yeah, I'd be like, what is in here? I would pull things out. 
that weren't yeah. even in there? Oh, we could have used a shorter camera. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> right? man. Yeah, just they bring in like a little, <laughs> a little guy. It's like, that's what we're looking for? I think I can just show a flashlight up there and just kind of look. <laughs> yeah, I'll just stretch little, it out. Let a little guy. Take a peek. God damn. Hey, Shaner. This is Jay in Jersey. I was just wondering, if you had created the character The Ultimate Warrior, what would his backstory have been? All right, thanks. Oh, fuck. If I created the character Ultimate Warrior, well, I would make sure that he was a veteran at some point in time. Like, but you don't really know exactly what he did. Like, you don't know what branch of the military right. he was in. But then, like, the whole thing is, like, he's got severe PTSD. You're describing the Punisher. Yeah, br- okay, yeah, it's, it's borderline Frank Castle. No, well, Frank Castle has PTSD because his whole family was killed. Right. But he the is ultimate ex-military. Warrior, sure. But he was counter- counter-terrorism. As, as far as, like, we don't know, we don't know what the warrior... We don't know anything about him. He's from parts unknown. Sure. He's out of his fucking mind. Okay. So, like, he's ex-military. He has an undisclosed drug addiction. Like, we don't really know what he's doing, but, like, if I had created the warrior, I would have him constantly, like, kind of fiddling with his nose Mm -hmm. or, like, constantly, like, just kind of, like, all the time doing that. I would also make him talk about a woman that, like, he's just constantly calling out in the crowd. So every time he gets in the ring, he's like, Deborah, you fucking bitch. <laughs> like, I know you're here tonight. <laughs> and it's like, we don't know who Deborah is, but she might be in the building. I swear to God. <laughs> she sounds like a bitch. She sounds like a real bitch. Who <laughs> hurt the warrior? No matter what IRS does to the warrior tonight, it won't be any amount of damage that Deborah has done to the psyche of the warrior. <laughs> she better not be here, and if we find her, we'll kill her ourselves. I also would have a point in time where the warrior comes out to the ring with blood on him, and they don't ever address why. Just like Do that they would even be fucking address crazy. The blood? They don't they even, just, uh, he just has it. He just him. has it on him, and they're just like, but the opponent is like, what is happening? <laughs> and warrior's like, let's get the fuck in this shit. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Yeah. I would also not make him so spacey. Because the warrior had all these, like, things where you talk about, like, I will come across the spans of space and time. Right. Like, I wouldn't make him like that. I would have him bo- be, like, a borderline... So he's less of, like, a Highlander and more of just a crazy dude. Yeah, just a crazy man that no one really understands. You know what I mean? Because, like, warriors, the whole aesthetic of the warrior was that, like, you know, he was a wild man. Like, almost like a bushman. You know, like, he had all this, like, strength. He was like a gorilla for the most part. But I also, the only thing I would keep about the the warriors, him running to the running to the ring. Like, full speed yeah. all the time. I would also make him, that's how he exits. I kind of am mad that that's not how he exited the ring. Yeah. Like, running up and then running out of the ring would be great. I also would have him constantly, like, just get erect in the- <laughs> every now and again. Right. Just like he's, like, foot wrestling somebody and, like, hits a serious move. He's like, oh, the warrior seems to be very excited. In the ring right now, he seems a little oh, bit... so they don't address the blood, but they do address the erection. They, they, they just like, oh, the warrior coming out covered in some sort of what appears to be... We don't know what that is. I'm not going to get into it, but the warrior seems very aroused right now. <laughs> Whatever he's covered in, he's hard as hell. He's rigid as a motherfucker, Gene. We don't know what's going on with the warrior's head. It's like it just having him just talk to the camera, just be like, I want to tell everyone in the crowd tonight that if you don't see me in the parking lot, you'll never see me anywhere I am. Just like very cryptic. Very just like he's going to murder someone yeah, or that he has committed crimes. Right. Just like that would be the background for the warrior that I want. Like the ultimate warrior. But he is also, he's patriotic. I, I kind of want to have you rewrite all of them now. Oh, yeah, dude. That would be <laughs> fucking great. If I could just go and, that, but you know what? I don't want to rewrite history, you know? I'm not trying to take down statues. I'm not trying. I'm trying to keep things the way they are. You know, you're what just I mean? talking about the future. I'm just talking about like Elseworlds stuff. You know, like sure. it's like the, the multiverse. The, yeah, it's like the multiverse. It's like right. what if, dude? What if the warrior was just a guy with severe head trauma? Mm-hmm. You know, and what if uh, you know what would be a great backstory too is if you just find out he was lying. You know, like at one point in time, 
during a match, his family shows up and they've like figured out that he had amnesia and he went missing. And the only thing that happened was he fell in the bathtub. So it's just pretty much what you're describing is an ex wrestler who gets CTE and uh-huh. then becomes a wrestler because he doesn't remember being one exactly. before. And he's like, wow, I've got all this natural ability. He's like, ah, why am I so jacked? <laughs> He's like, I think the only thing, it's like almost like Jason Bourne. He starts remembering. Right, exactly. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like he gets into a regular argument at a gas station and vertically suplexes a guy. He's like, how did I know how to do that? (laughs) Like, what the fuck is going on with me? He's like, I think the only thing I can do is get in the ring and defend the fucking belt. Strip people of their goddamn title. I want to see this movie. That would be fucking sick. Is that what the wrestler with Mickey Rourke is about? Is him... Just, just slowly just, putting back together his, his life, shattered after, life after a severe head, head injury. They find out then he Chris Benoit his family. Oh and that's why man, he doesn't remember that would be anything. the worst to wake up in the hospital and find out you fucking Benoit. Everyone. What do you mean? What do you mean? Where's my son? He's he's his own Punisher. Oh man, he's looking for the man <laughs> who killed his family, and then yeah. eventually they just turn the mirror around. He's like, "You son of a bitch." I think that might be what Memento was about. Yeah, it's kind of like that. If you had a tattoo that said Hulk Hogan killed my son, right? That would be funny. And he's Hulk Hogan. <laughs> it turns he's out like, that oh my Ultimate God. Warrior was Hulk Hogan. Well, they he- did the fucking, uh, fucking. They did Ultimate Maniacs, which was the combination of the Macho Man Randy Savage with the Ultimate Warrior, and then the Mega Powers was Macho Man with Hulk Hogan. I don't know if they ever did a Hulk Hogan. Ultimate Warrior thing. I know that they were a tag team at one point in time. They, they kind of like teamed up, but I don't think they ever did a thing. Y- your your knowledge on the subject is far more it's all right. than mine, to be honest. It's all right. Who was your favorite wrestler? I was never super into wrestling. Okay. To be I mostly am aware of what my friends in college made me watch with them so that they could explain <laughs> what they were talking about. Uh, in that time, was there a dude you ever saw that you were like, yo, that guy's cool? I had not really. <laughs> I, I, that, is wrestling, correct, that is the correct wrestling response. Wrestling missed me entirely. That is dude. the correct response. I just want to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to let you know that is the correct <laughs> response, especially in college. If there's ever a time for us, like, yo, dude, you were watching wrestling, I'd be like, what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't we be out fucking scoring pussy right now? No, but it was cool because then we would, like, take all the mattresses and put them in the living room and then, like, do wrestling moves. Yeah, I mean, that's dope to do. Yeah, that was fun. Now, when you did it, did you get a taste for for any... Did you be like, yeah, this is pretty dope? It, or, it's fun to do. Yeah. But yeah. you didn't you didn't think about a persona? You no. You didn't think about, like, a finishing move or anything? No, like all, of the, all of the wrestling aspects to it are still pretty gay to me. Like, the, <laughs> you know? All the talking and the, the pageantry. Yeah, I, no, I'm not going to lie to you. The pageantry is pretty gay. Yeah. It's pretty gay. It got real gay in the late 80s going into the 90s. And then the Attitude Era showed up and things kind of kind of right. got like the anti, the rise of the anti-hero happened. And then you had like Stone Cold Steve Austin and right. shit like that. But I can see you being, you're. I mean, you definitely, you're a pretty guy. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? I could definitely see you being like, you know, if you got a little bit more jack. Uh, yeah, but then I'd be like that guy with the Speedo. What's his name? That's every one of them. No, that's there's a guy that's just in a Speedo, and he's like, that's yeah. kind of his only thing. He's just in a Speedo? Yeah. Are you sure? Like re- like now? I, at the time that I was paying attention at all, I don't, I don't know what's going on at all now. Be honest. Well, I, I think most wrestlers wore speedos. I'm talking about like the fucking bikini cut underwear things. Yeah, yeah the, like a lot of them wore that. I think most of them wear that now. That's like kind of what they wear. Yeah. Well, this is like talking to my mom about wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> that's how like, you know the guy with the fucking. And dick. this is what you and your friends like. Oh, okay. That's what you guys talk about with who's, your friends online. Wait, who's the one who's painted up like he's like a cheetah? <laughs> who's that one? And he he looks gay, but he's not gay, and he might be gay. <laughs> Who's that one? He was wearing he's wearing thigh high boots. He was wearing he was wearing heels and then <laughs> he came out and he, he was wearing gold. He was gay. The gay one. <laughs> he must have been. He was gay. Ryan, who was the one who was gay? <laughs> Ryan, why are you watching gay <laughs> wrestling? That was hard. That was a hard thing to explain was gold dust to my mom. He's the hardest one to explain in the nineties. 
because you just had a guy dressed borderline in drag coming out <laughs> through the fucking borderline. ring. Oh, I mean, he was all wrestling kind of looks like drag shit for uh-huh. the most part. I but agree. this guy came out wearing like, you know, like even he looked even gayer than the nature boy because Ric Flair came out wearing like, you know. Yeah, yeah fur and fucking feathers and like almost like borderline sequin boa shit he looked kind of ridiculous but gold dust came out wearing a wig and he had i'm I'm definitely thinking later like full wwe you know after wwf so wwe there's just one guy in a speedo i'm pretty sure man i'm pretty sure that's also all of them yeah it could be jesus christ miguel (laughs) sorry you know you know it's like i try to talk about (laughs) Some shit here. I thought you were going to bounce it off of me. I, I, I was trying happen. my best, dude. I yeah, was trying to you carry the ball as long as I could. Bullshit. And then yeah. you started asking me like personal questions about my feelings on it. And it's like, dude, I really, I, I haven't seen enough of it to even really give you. Yeah. You, you know what? New wrestling. You're not really missing a lot. You know, yeah. I don't, I don't even really watch new wrestling for the most part. The, I'll, I'll dabble in GCW and stuff like that. But even then I'm just like, I'm kind of checked out. Yeah. You know, I don't really. You have to know a lot about the storyline. Dude, it's kind of crazy now. It's kind of... I, mean, I just feel like somebody's girlfriend. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's like I'm hanging out with one of the bros, and they're like, oh, you got to understand, because he used to... They were best friends, and then... And then you just put like, on Vanderpump rules. And yeah. You're just like, why don't you... Why don't we just watch this? <laughs> <laughs> it does feel a lot like reality TV to me. It is like reality when girls TV. describe like dating shows, and it's like, well, it's actually funny because uh, it's, it's like, ugh. No, it's not. The only difference between wrestling and like below deck or Vanderpump rules is that there are people constantly punching one another. Like that, but the not thing. actually. No, they're not actually. Yeah, it's it's stylized violence. But, and the thing is, like, I do get it because, like, that's kind of how I am when I'm like talking about basketball to a girl or football. I'm like, actually, this guy, you might be interested to know. Like, see that, and if you were talking like that, I'm like, can we just put on wrestling right <laughs> yeah. now? Can we just put that on because I want to watch a man go through a team? Yeah, unfortunately, it just kind of skipped me. The thing is, I'll, I'll watch wrestling highlights when you're throwing like mankind off the cage and it's like yeah he actually broke his back dude there. I'm that's like, that the shit. is sick that's the shit yeah now that's how you should have got a, a fucking kidney injury yeah well getting thrown off the top of a maybe i did maybe it's actually from rugby and i just it took a while for it to like catch on there you go it's that's a cool injury totally possible that's a cool dick bleedy injury yeah so then you could tell everyone was like yeah i ble- i pee blood <laughs> because of a cool yeah. injury I said now that. I have to just make up conspiracies. Yeah, it's like I, I pee blood. It could yeah, be. I'm not uh, sure why. It could be like a rare form of cancer, or it could be the vaccine, or it could be the fact that you know we're all sheeple now. <laughs> you fucking. We're all going to be controlled because I took bit. Moderna. It's like you know what they have a fucking chip in me right now, and they know exactly <laughs> when I'm going to pee blood. It's fucking <laughs> bullshit. We got one more message. All right, all right. Fuck yeah. Oh fucking crazy. There it is. There it is. Yo, Shane, it's your dude, Bernsey. Uh, yeah, when I was eight, my parents got divorced, and a RoboCop happened to be out in theaters, and I wanted to see it pretty bad, of course. So my mom took me, and as soon as uh, uh, Murphy starts getting shot up by the bad guys, she's like, no, this is too violent. We're getting you out of here. And I was like, damn, that was like 10 minutes of the best movie I've ever seen. <laughs> so I asked my dad. Luckily, they just got divorced. You know, my dad's got me for the weekend. I'm like, hey, let's go see RoboCop. He's like, yeah, I don't care at all. And so we went and saw it. He's like, that was a pretty good fucking movie. So anyway, uh, do you have a favorite parent? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) That was the best. Thank you, Bernsey. That was fucking awesome. Oh, he almost missed the scene where there's titties. I know. There's a, where then the, the locker room in, in the and locker room, they by. do that pan yeah. over. It's the one female cop. Yeah. Besides fucking uh, Lewis, which I w- would have hoped they showed Lewis's fucking tits. That would have. Been I don't even. It's been a while. <laughs> no, would have been name. a dope. But um, yeah, it's uh, RoboCop is a a gnarly movie to take a kid. I I I think I must have been older than this guy was when I first saw it. Yeah, when did well, how and old were you when you first saw RoboCop? I was like mid teens, like I was in high school already. Now, did you see RoboCop? Like the first time I saw RoboCop, I saw it on TV. Like it was, it was edited for TV. I think I rented it from a library. 
Okay. That's There's a while that the best library ever. where my mom would let me watch anything I got from the library. That's a great And movie. so I would just like go to the library and grab whatever movies I hadn't seen yet that were sick. And so RoboCop was an obvious one. But like that scene where he like gets his foot blown off and his arm and yeah. just like taking chunks off him with Dude, the shotgun. Dude, it's fucking wild. I was like, whoa. It is over the top. And there are two versions of it, which is crazy because there's, I had a VHS of RoboCop that had that scene. Yeah. But it was wildly, it was shortened. It was yeah. a shortened version so of it. So they weren't torturing it was, him. It was just like, you know, they were shooting him, but it was screaming. like, it, was, it wasn't it was anywhere near as drawn out. Right. And then I got the special edition Blu-ray DVD. Very nice. Which, thing. holy fucking shit, that scene is out of control. Well, okay. It is awesome as fuck. So, actually, Relevant is one movie that I rented from the library that I saw and thought was like the sickest movie was uh, Leon the Professional. Yeah! Which at the time, yeah. so cool because, and again, I will make sure that to prefer, preface that Natalie Portman was at older her than me. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I know where you're going. Look, I am I am grandfathered into this. She, there she was no, older than me and she still is. Look. But then I saw the like un... <laughs> Rated version or whatever the director's cut is sure. is what is on TV now. And I was showing it to someone. I was like, actually, this movie was really sick when I was a kid. You got to check it out. Yeah. And it is weird as fuck. Yeah, it's a little odd. There are scenes that, like, you could pretty much... She's just wearing a t-shirt, and then you could see, like... She's got, like, the preteen titties. Yeah. Where they're just starting... She looks like a pregnant dog in a t-shirt. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of wild. Yeah. And looking back on it, Hell yeah. <laughs> but, and that's because I'm looking back on it. I fucking had to have this conversation with many a person. It is bullshit, and there are two hills I'm going to die on, man. You can get grandfathered into finding a woman attractive. You know what I'm saying? Look, I, it's not my fault. I'm just saying, when I saw The Professional, that, that movie came out in 1994. All right. Okay? Yeah. I was in fourth grade. I was in fourth grade right. when that movie came out. Right. The first time I saw that movie was a year later on Stars. Nice. So when I saw it on Stars, I didn't even know who the fuck Natalie Portman was. All I, I knew, all I knew was like, oh, this chick is attractive. I was like, yeah, she's yeah. very attractive. So I grew up kind of like always being attracted to Natalie Portman. And as she got older, right. I got older. Things and don't get me wrong, I still think Natalie Portman's super fucking hot. Yeah, however, but not as hot as when she's However, a child. when people say who's one of the actresses you find attractive, I will say Natalie Portman. And the first thing that comes into my mind is the first time I found her attractive yeah. was in 1994. Right. And I'm not saying I find like Lindsay Lohan. Sure. In the now, parent track. In the parent track. I get what you're saying. It's the uh, same thing with me. Christina Ricci in Adam's family. Right. Dude, get out of here. And it wasn't just, and you know what I'm, I'm saying too? It wasn't just the aesthetic. It wasn't just the aesthetic. I was attracted to the attitude. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? I was. I either wanted a woman who would behead a baby like Wednesday or shoot a bunch of cops, right? <laughs> like Matilda, dude. I wanted. <laughs> I wanted both those types of women. I was like, this. You're is... just going through the hottest kids you could think of. Now like, I've yeah. got you stuck on a loop of yeah, every dude, movie you like, saw with a hot so child. Many hot kids right now, dude. So to answer your question, my dad. Yeah, my dad. <laughs> no. uh, Favorite parent? I mean, my dad was, he was cool, but I, like, he wasn't, uh, he was like a dude you'd want to hang out with for, like, I think I hung out with him the right amount of hours. Sure. You know what I mean? Anytime I was with him, I wasn't with him for like, I was, I don't think I was only with him for like a two day span at the most. And that was when we went camping once. But right. for the most part, it was like six, seven hours max right. with this guy. So, I mean, he was like a cool buddy that you right. saw. He was like a friend. Yeah. yeah. He was just like, piece of shit, good dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, yeah. this guy's out of fucking his mind, but, you know, we'll see some cool stuff. We'll see some cool stuff. I wish we saw more violent movies in the theater. I'll say that. I wish you yeah. saw some more cool stuff. I, I can't think of any, like, cool stuff that we saw in theaters. Uh, Jurassic mostly... Park was cool. Jurassic Park I saw Jurassic cool. Park in the theater, which was the probably one of the best, to this day, the most... And I've seen a myriad of horror movies in a theater. 
I have never to this day heard screams of terror like I did in Jurassic Park. Yeah, it was fucking wild. That was fucking crazy. I actually, I remember the first time I saw it having like nightmares about dinosaurs for a while. Yeah, dude. The, Those are real the looking motherfucking where dinosaurs. It's like, he's like, and the the Velociraptor claw like guts you here and you oh, yeah. spill it. Oh, you were you were having nightmares just about a man? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just it's just like now I'm being chased by Velociraptors. Die? Like it just, damn, dude, Velociraptor dreams are fucking. That's terrifying. Yeah, but I I I, I remember thinking how I didn't find it that scary because I knew dinosaurs didn't exist. You know what I mean? Right, they're fake. It's not <laughs> they're made up like rockets like rockets we never went to space y'all and dinosaurs do not do, you know i worked with a fucking dude who did not believe in dinosaurs legitimately i and it was you know what the jury style for me yeah what, what what would you need to convince you um on dinosaurs a living breathing dinosaur uh those are called Alligators. Yeah. Those are called sharks. Whatever. Man. Those are called Komodo what, dragons. Called chickens. Those are called yeah. yeah. Uh, those fucking uh, what are those? The emu? No, the ones. What are those fucking dumbass birds in Australia? The cross the one cross cross like the, or something. The ones with that. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, Those yeah. fucking gigantic piece of shit animals. Yeah, but if that's dinosaurs, then that's a pretty big boring. Dinosaur. That's I mean, I would love dinosaurs to be a little bit more like. I, I want them to come back. When they talk about cloning and stuff like that, yeah, I want that to happen. You want Jurassic I Park. want that. Fuck yeah, I do. Obviously. <laughs> Are you nuts? Yeah. I it doesn't matter that. how many times you show me the movie about the park like going, going wrong rogue and them escaping. And and like, I don't give a fuck. I'm obviously going to Jurassic Park Dude, if they open it. Do you know how pumped I would be just to like, not... And even if I never went there, but if it was like stone cold proof, like, yeah, there's an island yeah. that has fucking prehistoric animals on it that we don't even like, if you go on the island, you're going to die. Mm -hmm. Like it's, just, I'd be like, yo, send me to that island. Right. If that's the last hurrah, if I found out I was terminal, yeah. I'd be like, yo, put me on the fucking island with goddamn dinosaurs. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the coolest deaths. Like even if it's a mountain lion yeah, or something. Yeah, dude. Oh, being killed by an animal is the coolest, the coolest. It's the coolest death in the Probably world. Probably horrific in the moment. Yeah, sure. Really no, but there's got to be a part. But I'm guarantee if you're being attacked by a bear, a shark, there's unless you're like, you know, a huge pussy. <laughs> there's got to be a time where you're like, oh, oh whoa. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's got to be. You know what I mean? There's no way you're not like, oh, oh, what, what but dude. <laughs> I guarantee the last guy who was attacked by a shark and did die, you saw like this for like a split. Oh, boy, like this is the fucking. It's gonna be sick. I just wish I could see dope. their face. My friends are gonna be like, yo, you hear how he went out? Fucking shark attack. Close casket for sure. Yeah, please. dude, no, open it up. I wanna <laughs> see. I wanna see the bite, dude. I would actually have, if I was attacked by a shark and like say it got my arm, mm -hmm. I would ask, like, I don't know how. Actually, I just have to put this in a living will. I would put it in a living will right. if I'm ever attacked by a shark and am killed yeah. by a shark attack, no matter where they bite me. You have to have my head like split to make it look like teeth mark and bit off the side <laughs> of my face. And I have to have an open casket funeral. That's what I want. You, 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 you need to make that will now. I know. Just in case. I know. I, it's fucking crazy. Have you, I, I'm getting older. I keep thinking, everyone tells me that I have to fill out a will. I don't want to do that. That seems like a fucking... Well, Danny, I mean, do you have a will? You're married. No. I just think <laughs> she, she gets it, right? I don't know. I don't care. I'm dead. Uh, well, it's our right. problem. That's... Yeah. that's the, all right. But you if, you want, if you want a specific thing to happen, just yeah, in case just, of an you attack have from like an a death animal... Rider. You know what I mean? Like something cool to happen at your funeral. You need a, a, a cool neural. <laughs> I just wanted to be someone else's problem. Was, hey, I'm gonna strip that. <laughs> don't 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 ever talk about that. That I said that. Don't ever you cool fuckers. Neural. Don't ever bring it up. Cool neural better be the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever bring it up. Don't ever bring up that I said something that gay. God damn it. No, I would want to. Yeah, I mean, I would want something cool to happen at my funeral. Like, yeah. like I would want another thing that would be cool is line up or oh, why don't they do this? <laughs> Fuck. <What? sighs> 
say there's like a mass death, you know, mm-hmm. and say like all these people die hypothetically. Nine, 10, 12 people die at a monster truck event. People die. Line up the caskets and jump them. And jump the Whoa. fucking caskets <laughs> with the monster truck. Why? It lands on them again. Dude, and it just crushes <laughs> half of them. You know what? Dude, take up less space. Dude, take that would be sick. I wouldn't even be mad. I want to get buried in a in a car at a dude, monster I truck. I need grave digger gra- <laughs> digging my grave, dude. <laughs> fucking just crush me. That would be fucking awesome. Sick. Why doesn't that happen more often? Yeah. You know what? People if, get real dumb. Here's, here's my will. I have nothing to leave behind. Yeah, but, I have no assets whatsoever. You know, but if I'm not <laughs> mauled to death by an animal, crush me with a monster C- truck. Crush me with a fucking monster truck. Or bring back that truckosaurus thing mm-hmm. and just have it like lift me up and break me in half and then light me on fire with the fucking torch. That's how I want to be cremated. Via via <laughs> transforming truck robot, crowd. just oh my god, that would be fucking. That would be <laughs> just my blood and ash, dude. I guarantee people would show up for that. There's no way. There's no way that there wouldn't. Right, you're thinking of how to get the most amount of people at your funeral. At my funeral. At your cool neural. Where's his funeral? It's gonna be Sunday, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, at the Wachovia Center. We're gonna <laughs> dig his grave. <laughs> Bury him six feet deep and then ripping him six feet apart. We're sending Shaner off to hell. <laughs> you think he's going to heaven? He's going straight to her. Happy birthday in hell. <laughs> he's going to her. <laughs> My mom would be so bummed. My mom- <laughs> rest in pieces. Yeah, he, dude, rest in pieces. Dude, that would be. Why doesn't that happen more often? Why doesn't that happen? I don't know, man. Like that, instead of a make a wish, you got to have like, yo, I know I'm going to die. You know, I know I'm going to die. Look, don't waste your money. Don't waste your money on some cool. Fuck John Cena. I don't need to see him. I don't need that. Have have him pick my dead, dead body, body over up. his head and oh my god! That would, or <laughs> you know snap what? Snap my back like Bane. John Cena throwing a child into a volcano out of a helicopter <laughs> would be the coolest fucking thing in the world. That's what I want, and I also want Natalie Portman there dressed as Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, this is Ryan Shaner. This, this has been <laughs> the End Podcast. <laughs> Thank you, Miguel, for being on. That was so great. Make sure you call the hotline, 833-443-5300. We will address any comment, question, concern. Which family member is the best? Or when was uh, a child actress the hottest? We will address all they of that. They always are. We're going to switch it over to the Patreon. Thank you so much. We're out of here.